What stands out about Roberta's leadership style is two things. First of all, she has a brilliant, incisive legal mind, which you would expect from anyone who would aspire to be president of ALI. But more important, she's very good at working with very different people in a highly inclusive style to make sure that all these really strong points of view are brought together in a way that's very helpful to the task that's being assigned to us. She's adept at, at taking on tough issues, but doing it in a way that people don't feel threatened. She has a magnificent way of bringing people along to address issues, the hard issues. And she moves the needle on those hard issues, but she does it in a way that attracts people to the cause rather than causes people to put up barriers. Well, during Roberta's time as president of the ALI, we have completed or will have completed 10 projects and started another 13 projects. And she has led us through some challenging projects, notably the Model Penal Code death sentence project and the sexual assault project uh, with such grace and she has the confidence of all the members. Um, she's kept the raft together in some pretty rough waters. If you are the first woman, and I've been the first woman, whether you like it or not, you feel the weight of history on your shoulders. Perhaps we shouldn't feel that, but we do. Many remarkable individuals who had to fight as hard as Roberta to be accepted and who had as many firsts as Roberta become hardened by the experience. It becomes difficult for them to remain gracious, to be good mentors to people who don't understand the hurdles faced by the prior generation. Trial by fire made Roberta formidable, determined, and steely, but never took away her humility and her humanity. Yes, Roberta really, in fact, led the way in so many respects because she is substantively so very able. Uh, she is absolutely brilliant. It shows through in almost everything she does. She's incredibly articulate and has a great vision for the profession, for the law, has contributed hugely to the law, and at the same time is a wonderful friend, a fabulous mother, a wonderful wife. And so she excels in all aspects of her life, and that inspires certainly younger women and all women. She has this ability to seem very humble and uh, sort of the every woman in the room. She likes to play the I'm just a small town lawyer from Albuquerque card, but she is as shrewd as they come. I was immediately charmed by Roberta. Uh, she is a natural diplomat and she made me feel uh, welcome and included and just as if she was my greatest friend in the world. She is passionate about the rule of law and about having a, an effective legal system. This is her career. She is dedicated to the legal profession and to the courts and to having an effective legal system for the American people and that's something that uh, resonates with me. I, I, I think feeling that passion and uh, acting on it. That's been extremely important. It's, it's a great role model for us. Well, I think Roberta is a person of enormous energy. Um, and one of the things um, that she transmitted was that sense of energy, that sense of there are lots of things that we ought to be doing and should do. I would take every attribute of Roberta's leadership that you, she uses, or the, that I see her use for the Institute, and I would look to use all of them in my role um, as a president of a, of a community college system. Um, she is authentic, she is humble, she is uh, plain spoken. This is 1996 when she addressed the members of the Institute at our annual meeting and she made an excellent impression and a distinct and fine one on, on me. And there's a few words that she uh, spoke that I'd just like to read from some notes that we haven't exactly. Uh, she talked about the role of uh, our profession and judges and said that attacks on our profession, quote, and these are her words, must be bravely resisted and reasonably countered, end quote. 
And then she concluded, quote, I want all of us to remember that sometimes being quiet is a dangerous thing for lawyers and that being popular is never what any of us signed up for, end quote. 